Recommender systems are the unsung heroes of our digital world. They guide users towards products or content that they are predicted to prefer. And that keeps us all clicking, watching, and buying. For example, 60% of watch time on YouTube comes from recommendations. 80% of stream time on Netflix is driven by its recommender system. But we're here to talk about the music streaming platform Spotify today. And it's such a fascinating company because it uses artificial intelligence to recommend music. Keith Richards said, music is a language that doesn't speak in particular words. It speaks in emotions. And if it's in the bones, it's in the bones. So how does Spotify use the cold world of machine learning to play the role of that knowing insider that tips you off on the latest bands, those B-sides and offcuts you missed, but you might dig, as they say in the industry. They start with a consumer insight. Spotify estimates that 60% of the time, listeners are in a closed mindset when they're on the app. They already know what they want to listen to, and they just need to find it. The remaining 40% of the time is spent in an open mindset. Now, in this mindset, users will put in less effort, they'll scroll less, they'll skip tracks more, and they'll click less on the artist for more information. Spotify's lasting attraction lies in how it caters to that 40% open mindset. It encourages exploration. There are three recommendation models at work on Spotify to achieve this. Collaborative filtering. This uses your behavior and that of similar users. So the songs you listen to, how often, for how long, playlists you create, and so on. Natural Language Processing, or NLP. This looks at song lyrics, playlists, and song names. And audio models. This is used directly on music files. It's more experimental, but Spotify keeps a list of audio features for every song. Let's take a quick look at each. Each user on Spotify has their own taste profile, shaped by what they listen to, when they listen to it, how often, and so on. This image may look like a weather system, but it is a stylized version of the taste profile of a journalist at Quartz. Spotify gave him access to his profile. Unfortunately, we can't log in and look at our own, but you can download all of your data. This taste profile is used to shape each user's Discover Weekly playlist. Discover Weekly has been a phenomenal success for Spotify. Over 5 billion tracks were streamed through these playlists in the first year after launch. The idea is as simple as the execution is complex. Find 30 songs that the listener would probably like, but has not yet listened to on Spotify. A binary system uses the labels one for streamed and zero for never streamed, with the latter then organized based on the likelihood the user would engage with them. How does Spotify do this? Well, it finds users that are similar to your taste profile and suggests songs that similar people enjoyed, but that you haven't listened to yet. The list is created automatically and it's available every Monday. This also allows Spotify to surface the long tail of artists and songs that may otherwise go unheard. Amazon uses this approach to recommend products. In fact, it's one of the reasons that it assumed a leading position in e-commerce. And the sense of curated exploration goes beyond Discover Weekly. Spotify's homepage, mood-based playlists, and radio sections all play host to additional personalization. The new Spotify Enhanced product allows users to add personalization to any playlist with one click. Natural language processing is more effective on music than one might assume. Spotify can turn playlists into text documents and analyze how lyrical patterns relate to each other. Similar to Google's NLP algorithms, Spotify identifies the co-location of individual terms and then uses this to predict the meaning of phrases. In this example, we see the score certain terms receive in relation to the query ABBA. Dancing Queen has a slightly higher score than Mamma Mia, almost certainly due to the latter's presumed ubiquity in Italian pop music. ABBA is also likely to be described as perky and non-violent, although I've seen wedding dance floors that offer evidence to the contrary. This insight then feeds into Spotify's vast web of entities with highly rewarding results. Their tests have found that recommending songs based on these common adjectives surfaces new links that were previously unseen. Music is a language that speaks in particular words, contrary to what Keith Richards thought. 
We just need a little bit of technological assistance to find them. The first two models we have assessed have delivered Spotify's recent success. This third model holds the key to its future success. Let's just think, if a new song is added to Spotify through its expanding marketplace, how can Spotify know which users that song should be served to? Spotify uses the kind of neural network that is employed by search engines to understand the contents of images. These networks process raw audio to produce a range of characteristics, including key, tempo, and even loudness. It looks like this for the highly repetitive Around the World by Daft Punk. As a result, Spotify can slot these new songs into the right playlists, where they can layer on additional data points as users interact with the content. Context. A recent paper submitted by Spotify states, the musical domain presents distinctive challenges to recommender systems. Tracks are short, listened to multiple times, typically consumed in sessions with other tracks, and relevance is highly context dependent. The answer? A model called CoCERN. As they say in the paper, CoCERN predicts at the beginning of a session a preference vector based on past consumption history and current context. So with Spotify now available in smart speakers, in cars, and always on our phones, the next frontier is to cater to our exact in-the-moment needs. And at the heart of this future success, you will undoubtedly find Spotify's trusty recommender system. For more High Tech Explains, you can sign up over there. Thanks.